What is going on my friends? Welcome back to another Rusted Warfare video. In today's video, we will be covering the most infamous of air factor units, the Bomber. The Bomber is built at the upgraded air factory for a cost of 4,000 credits. It takes a lengthy 66.7 seconds to build and has a health pool of 3,000. It does not have a shield. It has a slow move speed of 0.85. It has two attacks, one against ground and one against underwater units. The ground attack consists of three projectiles fired in a row for roughly 370 damage each every half second, after which there is a lengthy recharge timer. The sub-attack does 70 damage every half second and also has a recharge timer. Both attacks have a range of 45. Bombers are rather unique in their attack style, in that they deal heavy amounts of burst damage before having a significant recharge timer. This timer is roughly 25 seconds long from what I can tell, making it much more suited toward hit and slowly run style attacks. The bomber has a built-in function to circle around toward where it came from after it makes its bombing run, but this can lead to it circling back into more turrets or enemy units. For this reason, it can be a good idea to micro your bombers back to safety while you wait for them to reload. Their high damage and low projectile count does leave them vulnerable to high amounts of laser shields and maxed out anti-air turrets at least until extreme late game scenarios where many hundreds of bombers can be acquired. In this event, you would do well to have some of the aforementioned defenses, as well as your own aerial arsenal. Even though you can target underwater units with your bombers, I would have to recommend against doing so unless you have no other recourse. They do far less damage to underwater units than ground, with the same limited range and another long recharge timer. With a lot of micro and some room to maneuver, a single missile ship can defeat a bomber in a 1v1, despite a 3100 credit difference in price. So that about sums up my thoughts on the bomber, a unit almost strictly used to try and break defensive lines, with or without the assistance of nukes. I hope everyone enjoyed, I will see you all next time.